we are given a parallelogram which is formed by the four straight lines root 3x plus y is equal to 0 root 3y plus x is equal to 0 root 3x plus y is equal to 1 and root 3y plus x is equal to 1. Let's denote the four vertices by A, B, C and D respectively. Now the vertex A is the point of intersection of lines AB and AD. Both pass through the origin and therefore the vertex A is 0, 0. Similarly, the vertex D is the point of intersection of the lines CD with equation root 3y plus x is equal to 1 and AD with equation root 3x plus y is equal to 0. The second equation implies that y is equal to minus root 3 times x. Substituting this in the first equation, we get root 3 times minus root 3 times x plus x is equal to 1 which implies that minus 2x is equal to 1 and therefore x is equal to minus half at the point of intersection. And therefore y which is equal to minus root 3 times x is equal to root 3 upon 2. Therefore the coordinates of point D are minus half and root 3 upon 2. Now the diagonal BD of the parallelogram passes through the point of intersection of the lines BC and AB. The equation of the line BC is root 3x plus y is equal to 1 and the equation of the line AB is root 3y plus x is equal to 0. Therefore, the equation of the diagonal BD can be written as root 3x plus y minus 1 plus lambda times root 3y plus x is equal to 0. Combining coefficients of x and y respectively, this can be written as root 3 plus lambda times x plus 1 plus lambda root 3 times y minus 1 is equal to 0. Now this is the equation of diagonal BD which passes through the point D whose coordinates are minus half root 3 upon 2. Substituting x is equal to minus half and y is equal to root 3 upon 2, we get root 3 plus lambda times minus half plus 1 plus lambda root 3 times root 3 upon 2 minus 1 is equal to 0. Combining coefficients of lambda, we get lambda times in brackets minus half plus 3 upon 2 minus root 3 upon 2 plus root 3 upon 2 minus 1 is equal to 0. Simplifying this equation, we get lambda is equal to 1. Substituting lambda is equal to 1 in the above equation of the diagonal BD, we get root 3x plus y minus 1 plus root 3y plus x is equal to 0 which can be written as root 3 plus 1 times x plus root 3 plus 1 times y is equal to 1 which implies that x plus y is equal to 1 upon root 3 plus 1. Multiplying and dividing the right hand side by the conjugate of the denominator that is root 3 minus 1 we get root 3 minus 1 divided by 3 minus 1 or 2 
and therefore the equation of the diagonal BD is x plus y is equal to half of root 3 minus 1. Similarly, the diagonal AC of the parallelogram passes through the point of intersection of the lines BC whose equation is root 3x plus y is equal to 1 and CD whose equation is root 3y plus x is equal to 1. Therefore, the equation of the diagonal AC can be written as root 3x plus y minus 1 plus lambda times in brackets root 3y plus x minus 1 is equal to 0 where lambda is a parameter. Combining the coefficients of x and y respectively, we get root 3 plus lambda times x plus 1 plus lambda root 3 times y is equal to 1 plus lambda. Now this is the equation of the diagonal AC which passes through the point A that is the origin and therefore putting x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 we get 0 is equal to 1 plus lambda which implies that lambda is equal to minus 1. Substituting lambda is equal to minus 1 in the above equation of the diagonal AC we get root 3x plus y minus 1 minus in brackets root 3y plus x minus 1 is equal to 0 which implies that root 3 minus 1 times x plus 1 minus root 3 times y is equal to 0. Root 3 minus 1 cancels and this equation simplifies to x minus y is equal to 0 which implies that x is equal to y is the equation of the diagonal AC. Therefore, to summarize, the equations of the diagonals are y is equal to x and x plus y is equal to half of root 3 minus 1, which is the required answer.